G'day guys, how are we? So in this video, we're going to be working on my beautiful BMW E46 and we're going to be putting coilovers in it. So let's get straight into it. Let's go. Alright, so as I said, we're doing coilovers today and we are installing the beautiful Max Peter Rod coilovers. Massive thank you to Max Peter Rods because they have helped me out with a huge discount in this one. And we're going to be installing them. I reckon they're going to be awesome. Um, bang, here they are. They're all boxed up and I reckon they're going to be dope. I've got Fletcher here to help me out as well. Ignore all the mess, we um, just wrapped a car. Um, if you guys don't know, I have a business. And we wrap cars, so I'll put that in the description, just the Instagram for it. So if anyone needs a car app, let me know. So we've got these Max Peter Rod coilovers. We've got T7s. They're the best coilovers for comfort and also moderate track use. Like, they're meant to be the best of the best, which is really, really good. So we're going to be trading the BMW with them. And they're still really cheap, which is, like, the best part about them. So, yeah. Let's go ahead, bring that BMW out. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about these coilovers. And then chuck these in. So let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we've gone and got the E46 out the front. This thing looks wicked. So if you guys didn't actually know, uh, we slammed this car for completely free. We uh, did the extremely dodgy way, so if you want to go watch that video, watch it after this video. And um, you can see how we slammed this extremely dodgily for free, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and unbox these coilovers because I am extremely excited for this and we're going to explain a little bit more about them. Alright, so now it's time to install the coilovers. So basically all you're seeing is me jacking up the car, taking off the wheel, and pretty much taking out the stock suspension. Now, I did have all of this on record and talking more about it, but unfortunately the audio did corrupt. So now you've got a voiceover, which is arguably better. But basically what you're seeing here is it's taking apart all the boot area, it's behind the carpets, you're gonna pull off some insulation to get into it, and you can loosen those bolts at the top. There should be three bolts there. After that, all you have to do is crack the nut at the bottom and you've got the strap. Like Fletcher's got right there. She's out, mate. Mm. All right, so while Fletcher is removing the other side, we're gonna go ahead and put in the springs. So with these ones, these actually have seats that come with it that sit right here. And basically with that, it allows you to adjust the height. So that's pretty much all that does. Now, I am gonna put it on, but I'm gonna make it the lowest it could possibly go because you can actually run the springs without these. Um, I'm going to try it within it because I don't want it to be too low because it is going to be my daily for a while. We're going to go put these on. We're going to make these really low. And from there, we can see exactly where the car's going to sit when it's pretty much bottomed out. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. So let's go. So now that we've gone and put the rears in, it is very, very high. Now I'm gonna be able to fix this. We're just gonna go ahead and put the fronts in first so all of it's in, and then we can adjust height later on. But that's how the rear sits at the moment. I'm not really happy with how high it is off the ground, but that's fine. I can fix that quite easily because again, they are completely adjustable. So we're possibly gonna take those little spring like things out and I'm pretty sure we might have adjusted the shocks wrong or maybe seated them wrong because they're very, very different heights. So uh, we're going to fix that. We're going to go ahead and put the front coilovers in first though. And then after that, we will go ahead and do all the heights. So let's go.
so we've run into a little bit of an issue. It is nothing to do with the coilovers. It is actually all to do with the wheels that we've put on the car. As you guys know, we have these extremely cheap wheels that I bought for like $100 on Marketplace. We sprayed them. Now, we weren't sure what the offset was going to be on them, and the offset is really, really bad. <laughs> so, all we're doing is we're rubbing on the coilover at the front. The backs are fine, it's just the fronts. So, what we're going to do to fix that is we're actually going to go and put spaces on. So, hence why it's a different day. I actually went and bought some spaces from a good mate, Zach, and we're going to chuck those 25mm spaces, or 15, 25? I think they're 25mm spaces on the front. Maybe add a bit of camber if we have the space, and uh, yeah. See how she looks. I am so keen to drive this thing. I reckon it's going to handle so much better. Well, not I reckon. It is going to handle a lot better. I'm really, really keen to see how these Max Peter rods perform. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and chuck the spaces in and then we'll take it on drive. So let's go. All right, so as you guys just saw then, we went and put the spaces in and we maxed out the camber. And we've got quite a lot of camber adjustability on this coilovers, which is awesome. As you guys can see there, you've got a lot of adjustability. You're not gonna need any more than that, um, unless you're trying to go crazy camber. Like this is enough for me. This is, this is for straight use, so this is definitely enough for me. I would say that's probably around the negative three and a half-ish area. And yeah, it looks really, really good actually. Like the fitment on it is actually wicked. Like if you look from the top, that's like really nice fitment there. So uh, I'm pretty damn stoked with that actually. So let's go ahead and do it on the other side. Then we can see how she drives. So uh, let's go. Just quickly, I'd like to kind of bring it down to this level and you can see how much more aggressive that side looks than that side. Like, look at that. That looks so cool actually. When both sides are done, that thing is gonna look like a proper drift car. We have gone and done the other side as well and it looks very aggressive. It looks really dope actually. Definitely needs an alignment, but have a look at this. Have a look at that. How's this from that angle right there? That looks insane. It looks really tough, actually. I love that. <laughs> the fitment on it is actually baller, like big time baller, pretty much flush. On this side, you put a tiny bit of poke, but that's just the alignment. This is all the alignment being out. That side is pretty much dead straight, and this side is like there. So. Definitely need an alignment. Whenever you slam your car, make sure you get an alignment because it's probably one of the most important parts of the car. Um, that's what makes it drive straight. <laughs> so, this car looks wicked though. The coilovers have made it look awesome. It was way too low. Now it's at a really nice height. We're still gonna have some issues trying to get over a speed bump, but it also looks really, really nice. So, um, I'm extremely pleased with that. What we need to do now is uh, take around a little spin around the block. Just a little drive because we still have our coolant issues. Um, so we can't really drive a long drive. We're gonna go around the block and see how these things drive. So let's go, I'm excited for this. Before we go, we need to put these hood pins on because we don't want our hood flying away and we're ready to go. So let's go. All right, so we've got the missus to come and record the beautiful drive because I don't have a uh, tripod thing. So um, you ready? You ready to see how cool it drives? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's gonna rub a little bit because um, our fitment's pretty full on. But other than that, it rides a lot nicer, doesn't it? Remember when it was bouncing around like crazy? I'll put a clip on what it did when Fletcher and I ran over a shoe just around here. They probably won't be able to tell how bumpy it is because of how good the stabilization, stabilization is. is yeah. It is, it, is not, it is not good. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun though. Yeah, no, nah, they'll see that one. Yeah, it drives really nice. I'm only going to drive around the block, like I said, because if we try and drive any further than that, um, the car is going to overheat. It's already getting nearly up to temp, so we do have to get back in a big hurry. But um, yeah, the car drives awesomely. I can't wait to take it on the road because it's going to be wicked. 
Um, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit down the track because we need to do other things before we do that. So um, yeah, oh, lock diff. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty damn excited for this. I think this car's going to be awesome when it gets properly on the road. Hopefully not too long. Um, but yeah, drives really nice. All right, we're back. Hell yeah. It actually drives really, really nice. Like, actually proper nice. Um, I'm very, very happy with these coolers. They're really, really good. What do you reckon, mate? How did you drive? Good. Yeah? I liked it. Look at the fitment on it. It looks wicked. Hell yeah. <laughs> it looks like proper drift stands. That's sick. I actually love the look of that. <laughs> that side sticks out a lot less um, because of our spacer situation, but we can easily fix that in like two seconds so uh yeah the car looks so good though hell yeah the alignment is very off we actually drove without the headlights properly in so they kind of just fell out a little bit <laughs> but yeah the car looks awesome the uh front fitment is definitely my favorite the back fitment's actually also kind of nice i'm happy it's not absolutely slammed like it was it's just kind of like a little bit higher than the tire but um it also is on a massive angle right now so it's definitely not how it's going to sit this side's more about how it's meant to sit see how it's kind of a little bit lower um we're just on a massive angle with the driver right now you can't really see it in the video but we've got a big dip just that side there so it makes the gap look a lot bigger and then we've got the front fitment which is ridiculous like have a look at how close we are to scraping on this one we need to fix that because um yeah she's definitely way too close there <laughs> but yeah coilovers are now on i love the look of it i reckon it looks absolutely awesome and um yeah wicked hell yeah i can't get over that front it just looks so aggressive that looks insane so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and if you haven't already go check out max peter rods they sell very cheap parts that are actually really really quality which is the main thing you're looking for you don't want to buy cheap parts from wish and everything you get there and that is not what you ordered. These actually handle really nice. Casey Civic has also got Max Petting Rods in hers, and that thing is her daily. She drives it every day and she still loves it. And it's been, they've been in there for a, quite a long time now. So uh, yeah, I reckon it looks wicked. I cannot wait to drive this thing properly. That front fitment has got me tripping out. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to uh, do more things to this car. However, as sad as it is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna drift it now. Um, I think I might even try and sell it. Uh, I don't really want to, but we need to make space for more cars and projects. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. I might not sell it yet, I don't know. I'm very 50-50. I want to clean it up a lot more first, so it's not going to be for a while. I might get addicted to it and want to keep it. Um, but for now, I'm on the fence. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys are looking into getting any type of Max Peony Rods products, um, I do have a discount. My discount code is Basley and it's 10% off all their products, which is awesome. So go use that code, it helps me out and it helps you guys out. And um, yeah, thank you. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And guess what? I shall see you guys next video. See you then.